if your answer to something is i don't know or like you're not willing to try something else then you're gonna get stuck y'all got clickbaited into my wonderful title and you're wondering how in the world do i not get plateaued or like i hit my peak i don't know what to do it feels like every change i make doesn't do anything i'm still losing changing just for the sake of changing won't improve you one as a person but also two like result wise right if your goal is like i'm gonna change this because what i'm currently doing isn't working that's not how that works you have to have like a concrete idea of what what will like help you so in smash there's a lot of times where you feel like you're doing everything right but you're losing so clearly something's wrong right like how is it that i'm right but i'm losing as a player you need to like be able to identify why you're losing you're losing generally because you get hit and then you lose your stock and then it's over and then that happens a couple of times ggs okay so we start with the hit right what was happening when you were playing and you got hit we can go through it a few different ways we can start with what happened let's say you tried to hit rob and rob was doing there you knew rob was going to do neutral air and because we're on fox we'll just use fox and you tried to parry it but you mistimed it so you got hit and then i don't know maybe we got the the gyro combo and side beat and you lost your stock right the next question you should ask yourself is like well, how could I have approached this differently? Like, did I necessarily have to go for the parry? Parry puts me at risk and it gives me an up tilt, which is fantastic, right? And depending on percents, it could be a lot of damage. But is there any other way to go about the situation where I, where you know that Rob is going to near you? One, I'm out. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not even gonna try. I'm gonna run across the stage and like shoot a laser or something. We gonna try again. Even if you're not getting big damage off of it, you know what you aren't getting? You aren't getting hit. So now the raw player is thinking, I can't land these nares and I keep getting hit by laser. This is frustrating. One of two things is gonna happen. They're either gonna keep trying to nair you or they're going to do something else. If you can get them to do something else, even simply by just shooting laser every time you think they're gonna nair, it's up. Because if your issue was dealing with the nair, you've successfully solved your issue. You've, you've problem solved, you figured out what to do. It may not be the best solution, but it's a solution. When you're playing, you need to be able to figure out solutions. Problem solving is like one of the biggest things that builds you as a player. And a lot of the best players, they just find solutions. But generally, you should be able to go about like each situation thinking to yourself, okay, this is what's happening. How am I gonna do it? Like, how am I gonna go about it? Now, getting into the why can be a lot more complex um, because there's no way for you to truly know why someone's doing what they're doing unless like they just straight up tell you and they're not lying to you. <laughs> yeah, both of those have to be have to be true. Like they tell you and they are lying to you. So when you're playing, actually, what's really funny is I was talking to someone. It's always I can always bring up like anecdotes, anecdotal things but i was talking to someone i was like hey you need to figure out what you think is the reason that they're doing something so that when you see something occur you already know what's going to happen next because your brain is like oh the reason that they're doing this is because of this so maybe it's a positioning thing like where you are on the stage maybe it's after they get hit by certain moves they react certain ways certain angles make them do certain things there's a lot of different reasons that people can do certain things and the person goes, what if my reason is Lucina does F smash on this part of Smashville because it's blue and they blend in with the background and they like it and they like the way it looks. And I said, well, as long as they keep doing F smash in that spot, your reason's fine. It doesn't even matter because you've told your brain like they're going to do this at this spot and they're consistently doing it. Now, when that changes, that's on you to change. So when you're trying to like break, feel like you're plateaued, generally it's just that you don't either have enough knowledge of certain situations or certain characters, or you're very stuck in the way that you want to play the game. And I think one of the easiest ways to break plateauing, this is gonna sound insane. If you're playing against a character and you're like, dude, like they're so carried, like, 
I can't believe this. Like, all they're doing is this. They're not even really thinking. Pick the character up. You don't, not for a long time, just try playing them. Because it'll give you perspective on the things that you hate. And maybe the things that you hate aren't that bad. I used to hate Wolf. I hated Wolf. And then I picked up Wolf. And now I'm like, you know, it's actually way harder than I thought to land these forward airs. Like, way harder than I thought to land these forward airs. People who know that I went to forward air, it, it feels like impossible to hit them with forward air. Like, I have to get so creative. Or like, when I, when I wanted to play like Lucina for a little bit, I was like, oh, all I have to do is swing my sword. And then I was swinging my sword and people kept shielding. And I was like, wait, how do I get damage? I don't understand. If they shield every time I jump in the air, how do I hit them? You'll start to gain more perspective on the game and like maybe the thing that you hate is like easily deal with a boy. Like, oh, okay. Another way to get over like feeling like you're plateaued is you need to, and this is hard for most people, is you have to be able to be like real with yourself. If you aren't winning majors, super majors, like, and even if you are, there's still a lot of improvement to be done. So if you're going like one, two at a local, and you're, you're like, I feel like I'm stuck and I will never get better. That's not true because anyone can get better. It's just, you just have to put the effort in. And two, you need to know where to look. Now that's where it gets hard, right? Because there are a ton of people who watch the game a ton and they study the game a ton. Like you could use commentators, right? A lot of commentators, they they study the game. They watch the game. They're talking about the game and they know a ton about the game and then they try to play and they're like not that great like they're good but they're not like one of the best players in the world right how do you be real with yourself without also self-deprecating that's just like a, a life mental thing uh and i don't know it's different for everyone but for me personally if something happens in the game and i'm like not good at like covering it i'm just like oh i need to work on that because i think i don't think there's anything wrong with that not being good at something just it just means there's room for you to grow I'm so scared that this video is gonna lead to people picking up Steve and Kazuya because they hate him. Whoops. Bro, I hate this character. And then suddenly everybody's on the... I'll be like, oh, my bad. There's a lot of different areas in the game that you need to be good in. And I'm also gonna make a video about this very soon. It's called like, the macro micro smash or something like that i haven't like flushed out the title yet got the thumbnail already though y'all are not gonna tell me that if y'all saw this player in your region you'd be like this dude nasty f smash f smash gets punished f smash spot dodge f smash f smash this is one of the best players in the world and when i coach people i very often hear this statement oh man that's a bad option i shouldn't do that like what gets me about this, like, do y'all see T in the camera? Look at this, look at this. F smash, F smash, gets hit, nods head, like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, whoo. And then just starts F smashing again. And then fist bumps, yes. But T, again, has proved time and time again, knows how to win. Fantastic player. And T is a fantastic player, you know why? Because T has no limits on his brain, on the way that the game should be played, the way that he sees the game. He's like, I can do triple, qu quadruple, however many up smashes we did, I mean, four smashes we did. Why not? Who's to tell me otherwise? We'll start with, you don't get a chance to play to your strengths. A way to get better would be to change what you feel like your strengths are. So if you feel like the only thing that really like allows you to win is that your advantage state is really strong but when you don't get that to happen then you just you just lose are you okay with just losing or are you just going to get better in other areas of the game like are you going to get hit less in neutral so it doesn't matter as much when you're getting hit in or when you're not getting uh your advantage state going right are you just like able to take it a little slower and just go tit for tat damage wise or maybe in increase your disadvantage so when you're getting when you do end up getting hit, you're not taking as much damage as uh, you should be. Like, there's a, a few different ways you could even just approach like that situation alone, right? Like, maybe it's not your that you don't get strong enough advantage states. Maybe it's that you aren't good enough in the other areas. 
Or we could take the other approach and if you're not, you don't have a chance to get your advantage state good enough or going enough against good players, that means you probably aren't winning neutral enough. And when you are winning neutral, you're winning it with moves that you're not familiar with how to start an advantage state. And this is something that you need to learn when you're like really getting better. Everyone knows how to play. Like when you start getting good, you know how to play your character, right? But when you start playing against good players, they know how you want to play your character. So you need to be able to be like, wait a second. Like they're not just going to let me land this forward air or nair on. I don't know if you play Roy, but I, Roy's on the screen. He said something about Roy earlier, but they're not just going to let me land this like a hey, dash in short hop nair. It's up. Huh? They're gonna be like, all right. Well, I don't want to get hit by Nair because that leads to me, you know, eating a bunch of damage. Like, I'm down. I'm fine with getting hit with like down tilt at zero. Like, who cares? That just resets neutral. You know, like. And if you like watch sets, like, look at this. Like, we're just not getting hit by Nair. Like, Goblin's just trying Nair. Like, we. Why would we get hit by that? We're not getting hit by that. Like, play. Now, eventually we'll make a mistake, right? We may get hit by it, but for the most part, like. You need to find different ways to to start your your offense. Goblin has tried getting his advantage started a bunch of different ways, but none of them are like ways that actually lead to advantage. So this will be your time to go. Okay, well the advantage that I get from this hit is like I I move them to the corner. Or if you're playing against someone that's not like super super good, even though you said good, like you hit them with say like that up B. And you notice that they jump after you hit them with up B. Like now you have a chance to deal with a landing trap or like go for a juggle, right? And there's like so many different ways that you could you could go about it, but you don't always have to start things with like your best option. Like we started our offense with Joker down tilt. And now we're struggling. Because we know how we get off the platform. That led to this offstage situation. Look how much damage we got just from 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 landing a down tilt like that's how it all started was that one down tilt and then we oh that's unfortunate and then we just took our game a little bit further in like some unfamiliar situations or maybe situations that omega's familiar with but maybe goblin's not too familiar with all you need to do and that's why i think problem solving is like omega broken like it's like the easiest way to get better as a player is if you're able to consistently problem solve like you'll have less problems <laughs> i know it sounds really silly and like very simple but it's it's actually that simple like if you're able to actively problem solve while you're playing and maybe if you're not able to while you're playing but you're able to when you vod review and then you can take that and so the next time that you play and then you keep repeating that you'll be like oh I remember this situation like I I've dealt with this a few times here's an option that I have for it and you just keep building upon that and building and building and building and suddenly you have an option for every situation or you have 80 options for every situation it's just whichever way you want to go about it and it's lit.